This is a message of encouragement and truth for children of God, for all of us to continue to be on fire for the Lord, to continue to go forth and be zestful and just keep motivated to stay focused on Jesus. You see, the more and more we stay focused on Jesus, he will begin to increase our fire that he has put within us. And let us always remember this. Let us go to Jesus first and be inspired by him because I want to remind you he is the he is the greatest inspiration that any of us could ever watch. And the Lord is a consuming fire. It is mentioned in the word of God in Revelation that he has eyes of flaming fire. He is a consuming fire. And just because of that, that that's a great testimony. That's something to be inspired by. Knowing that our Lord is a consuming fire. He is a holy God and he will not tolerate sin. Wherever he goes, demons tremble. Wherever he goes, everyone bows. Wherever he goes, authority is known by him. Even nature and the winds cease at his presence because he is God alone. So let us be on fire. I want to tell you this. Never let and never let anyone throw any kind of buckets of negative water at your fire to put it out. Never let anyone throw any negative buckets of water at your fire to put it out. So how do we stay on fire for God? By living holy for the Lord, by by striving per, per, striving for perfection daily, by staying in this word, living in a holy manner, doing all that we need to do to make it with the Lord. I know it's going to be hard. None of us is never going to be perfect, but we got to try. We got to keep striving. It's hard because of our human nature. There's times when we're going to fall. There's times when we're going to make mistakes. But dear soul, don't get knocked down by those mistakes. Learn to get back up because that's where you're going to find strength. That's where victory is going to come. And that's when the Lord is going to come out with his hand and, and he's going to help you out of the fall. But it's a choice and it's a decision that we must make to decide whether to stay down or to keep going. So the main message for today is to keep your fire going for the Lord. Remember, don't let any demons, don't let anyone today put out your fire for the Lord. Go to the book of Revelation. That, that book put the fear of God in me because it shows me how many have fallen and how Jesus was going against specific churches. Because they were doing the total opposite things of God's nature, falling into sin. And just because of that, the judgment of the Lord is coming upon the earth. That's why now is the time to repent and to really get our lives in order. So I just wanted to share this important message with you guys. Feel free to share it. You guys have a wonderful day in the Lord. Take care and remember, be strong.